Hello, everybody. Welcome to Public News's podcast. I'm here with one people. How you doing, fellas? What's up, man? How's it going? Yeah, bro. Yeah, I got good. Ryan, Mark, Sean, Eric, and Charles here. Guys, introduce yourselves, man. I'm Sean Rhodes. I play the keyboard. Eric Garcia. I play the drums. Mark Rojas, bassy for one people. I'm the uh, chime extraordinaire and the uh, MC of one people. <laughs> My name is Charles. <laughs> My name is Ryan. I'm the singer and the guitar player for one people. Cool, man. So, uh... You know, your your performance is, you know, was broadcast live tonight, and then people are going to see this in the next week, man. Uh, you know, obviously, you know, I love you guys' music. I've heard before, and, uh, you know, I love, you know, especially Eric. I've talked about Eric uh, played for Free Love a long be- way back in the day. But, uh, so, t- you know, tell them a little bit about yourselves, man. How'd you guys meet? Where'd you, uh, how'd you all get together, you know? Whew. Little history of the band. So free love, bro. Wow. What's up? Okay. Well, so it kind of started. Charles and I met, and we just started writing some music together. Just kind of like a, not super serious thing, but we knew it was like, there's really like an organic writing process there, and then uh, the band just kind of grew o- over time. The pieces fell where they did, and it's like now we're here. You know, it's just a very, very organic process. I feel like, but you guys should share something. I don't know. What's the what's the genesis of this? So so what I believe was a start was uh, we met through somebody and uh, basically we got incorporated with the Free Love Project, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, first they didn't really want to hear what him and I had wrote together, and then they heard what we wrote, and then they were like, "Y'all got more, whatever." It turned into some legal shit, whatever. We do the whoop, and then him and I realized at that point like this is something. So then he reached out. We were looking for the rest of the band. Marky was drumming for somebody else, came through, I could slide play bass. Sean was playing for everybody else. He was like, yo, I believe in y'all, man. Let me come rock with y'all. And then Eric came through and was like, yo, I want to I want to rock with y'all. And you guys still looking is, for a drummer? This is kind of how it happened, man. Yes. And now we are we are who we place. are, bro. And just kind of fell into place. We went solid. And uh, yeah. basically to the top is where we're trying to go. So, yeah, so, so you guys got any uh, new music out? Where can you find your music? You know, what's it? So right now we got a single out called uh, Sick One. We got a music video and everything too. Um, we got an album coming out on 420 called Lose the Control. Um, we shot a music video for that one too. So that's going to be dropping with the music video and the album and everything. And uh, on 420, we're going to be playing here in uh, the 805 at the 6 in yeah. Ventura. Yeah, the 6. 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. downtown Ventura. Um, rocking out an album release party. Right. So it's a cool venue. Uh, Tradecraft, Massive distribution companies are going to be out there supporting us and stuff those are our boys so uh yeah man yeah cool i, I, I know like one people is probably a tough find you know so is there do you have like a one people like but how do they find you you know because they put one people on the internet like go everywhere you know what i mean is there True. a certain, certain place that they can find you specifically yeah you can find you can find us on all all platforms but uh one people is one word we keep it all no space yeah, in between yeah. the two words cool. so Find us on Facebook, Instagram, onepeople.reggae. Find us on YouTube. We have our uh, single, uh, Sick One Out right now. And in about eight days, our album, Losing Control, is coming out. Yeah. Something we're all very proud of. It took a lot of hard work and a lot of dedication, blood, sweat, and tears. And it was yeah. a long process, but yep. we're very excited for everybody to hear it. Yeah, man. Well, what best goes out to you guys, man? I hope that album takes off and... You know, you guys fucking get everything you want out of this, man. So much appreciated, man. Thank you for everything. You know, always shows love. You know, obviously, you know, you guys are welcome here anytime, man. Anytime, cool. you know. So, always down. Always you know, down. So, you know, after they, it, people watching this, you know, they're kind of like, who are these dudes? You know what I mean? So, I like to ask, you know, the bands and stuff like that. You know, what 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 inspired you, man? What made you want to pick up the guitar, play the drums? You know, start singing away and. You know, with a lot of people say some artists, their parents, different things. You know what I mean? They're kind of different for everybody. So, let's see if you guys want to share a little bit of that. You know, each one of you guys. So, yeah. So, I started playing piano as a kid. My dad had a piano, some guitars. He always played music. And then it was just something I started doing, just to pass the time. Started playing around with it, looking up some videos, learning some songs that I wanted to learn, and then eventually just started getting lost in it started making my own music and then uh, didn't even really start playing reggae for another 10 years or so until I moved out to Ventura I was already fell in love with reggae music in high school so then came out here and started playing some live stuff in groups for the first time and got into the reggae bands and and then just started 
Gotta go slow, these guys. <laughs> but the piano, man, like the older I get, to the if I, because I'm not, I don't play any instruments at all. I wish I did, but I think the piano, you know, they get older because it's just smooth. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. It is. It's just. It's a good one to start off with. That's for sure. Yeah. Eric, what about you, homie? Um, I think I started off when I was about ten. My dad bought me my first drum set. We're out of Santa Paula. He used to uh, co-own a music store by the name of Strings and Things. And he would always, he actually bought me a guitar the first time. And I got on a drum set that was inside the actual music store. And he's like, this kid's a drummer. He's not a guitar player. <laughs> so, you know, years went by. I kept playing a bunch of bands, a bunch of bands. And before you know it, you know, I ended up falling in the lab of these guys. <laughs> You know, after many years of blood, sweat, and tears and going through lots and lots of different bands, whom I love very much, I think I finally found the group that's going to do something, you know? Yeah, man, I think it's all mine. I'm excited good. with these boys. We're excited for you guys to hear this album. One thing I'll shout, about, uh, shout out about this man named Eric, bro, is that when he came in, obviously, like, uh, he wasn't just a drummer, bro. He came in with a lot of ideas, a lot of change-ups, a lot of like different grooves and stuff like that, a lot of ideas um, that kind of helped us project, like shape our sound. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, so it, I just want to give you your fucking roses, bro. That's it. That, that's important too, man, in a band. Yeah, you know, you got to have everybody be able to express themselves and, you know, yeah. put a little bit of their, 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 their blood into it. You know what I mean? Oh, absolutely. You know? What's up, everybody? <laughs> Kind of similar story to Eric. I was about 10 years old, started playing guitar, just always had a love for music since I was a little kid. Uh, my mom, you know, blasted me with all kinds of different music and different styles. And just over the years, I, you know, picked it up at 10, put it down, pick it up, put it down, and then got real serious about 14 or 15 years old. Played a lot of metal back in the day, was a big metal guitarist. Um, did a lot of stuff in the Bay Area. That's where I was born and raised, Antioch, California. And then, you know, just always had a love for reggae. My grandma listened to a lot of Calypso as a kid, when I was a kid. And it just kind of stuck with me and just kind of evolved from there. And I feel like uh, with our sound personally, we try to incorporate all kinds of different styles, you know, rock, hip hop, reggae, and it all just turned into one sound. And uh, it's who we are. We, uh, <laughs> we're excited for the adventure. I think I can speak for all of us when I say that. So this is just the beginning, and we're excited to take this to the next level. Yeah. All right. Um, vocally, I started getting forced uh, by my grandma to sing in the church choir. <laughs> um, that's how that happened um, around the age of 11. She's like, you going to take your ass to church, and you going to sing? Um, I didn't really have a voice then, but my family, uh, mom and pops, are having music. Uh, whatever whatever when I was like 12 was the first time I like recorded some rap stuff um, uh, when I was probably like 15 my pops finally felt like I was deserving of listening to a uh, Bob Marley uh, the legend album um, so I right then I grew up on Motown but fell in love with reggae in that moment and then, uh, like he said wanted to be original and unique and figure out my own stake in it. Yeah. and then um, I met one people and uh, we're just going to keep trying to create, man, and uh, keep uh, keep preaching out uh, what our inner inner child wanted to be when we were growing up. You know what I mean? Making and, dreams uh, come true, baby. Exactly, man. Yeah, yeah. You know you what know, your look, man? You know you remind me of? Zach De La Roca. Only reason oh, I rock the Nashville totally. career, you know, <laughs> my, my mom's today, I was chilling with her and she was like, yo, you, you got to rock your natural hair, man. Don't put a hat on and stuff. So I was like, all right, I'm going to come be me today. Yeah, yeah, for you people yeah, out there yeah, that don't know who Zach right. De La Roca is, the lead singer of Rage Against the Machine. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's uh, he's an icon. Yeah. When I was like sixth grade, I never listened to rock or anything growing up. It was always Motown, Stevie Wonder, Michael Jackson, Marvin Gaye. And then uh, I changed schools, went to school in Camarillo, like halfway through the sixth grade. And then I met a cat who uh, showed me Linkin Park, Rage Against the Machine. Tower of Power, all these other stuff, and I fell in love with this. Yeah, I, I grew up in Camarillo. I went to yeah, Camarillo yeah. High School, yeah. Hey, me too, man. Graduated <laughs> Scorpio, huh? Yes, sir. I'm Hell a Scorpio, yeah. and I was born November 15, 91. I'm a Scorpio all the way through, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right on, right on. All right. Um, my name's Ryan, and uh, I guess my music, musical journey started when I was a kid. 
my grandfather bought me a guitar uh, as a gift for Christmas, just this little tiny acoustic guitar, but he passed before I got to open it. And like, I was just really driven to learn how to play guitar and like be a musician. And I discovered some blues and some rock. My parents were really influential with music. They're not musicians, but they just have like a very amazing music taste. And that's yeah. just what I grew up around, like every genre. So kind of fed into, I guess what we do now. I mean, I just love writing music and then we get to, we get to further extend and it's kind of a really cool process. Now there's nothing like, I've never experienced anything like it as a musician. I think that's really what's driven me and probably Charles as well to keep want people going and then these three guys it was like it's destiny i love these guys we're like family we eat, we eat dinner too, we, we eat dinner together on rehearsal nights like a family we shout everything. out to papa deets and mama deets papa yeah. and mama deets yeah. 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 That's, that's yeah. cool man you know i can see man i feel the vibe you know just being in the room with you guys man you all have that passion you know what I mean? And you, and you guys, you know, they said one people, but you guys kind of like one mind. You know what I mean? You're all on the same page. And, you know, I, I you know, interview a lot of bands, see a lot of bands. You know, sometimes you can just sort of feel the disconnect. You know what I mean? It's sort of like this, uh, they're done in a month. You know what I mean? You can just feel it. You guys have been part of bands that are like that. You know what I mean? And mm -hmm. stuff. But, man, you know, you guys, uh, you guys got something going that uh, I think is going to be hot, man. So, Thank you guys, you, hey, uh, out there, man, you go check out, check these guys out. You know, go back, watch the live feed, download their music, you know, and uh, check out their shows, you know. So, you guys obviously welcome it here anytime you drop that new record. Love to have you guys come and do a, uh, you know, record debut here, man. So, that'd be awesome, man. Thank you. Man. Yeah, but, uh, 420 on uh, 420. Lose Control is coming out, yeah. all platforms and everything like that. Yes, um, it's a beautiful piece that we uh, we created for ourselves, but also trying to bring everybody together as one. You know, that's why the band is called One People. Man. Yep. The the one whole mission is space. to, to bring cool everybody too, together, man, cool man uh, like as one in the sound of music. You know what I'm saying? Like you said, we all have that same idea, that same vision. You yeah. know what I mean? So stay focused, fellas, man. Dude, and I hope you guys accomplish your dreams, man. And uh, thank you for coming here tonight, man, sharing your talents. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks for getting all of us. We First appreciate it. Shows, thank you. Man. First thank and you. many with you all, man. Yeah. Appreciate you. Thank, thank you, you guys. man. Greatly appreciate it. Absolutely, bro. All right, y'all. One people. One people. There you go, man. What's up, everybody? Have a good night, man. 420, one. losing control. <laughs> When I Thank say one, y'all say people, one. People. One. People. people.